Hello everyone, this is Adam with the AEW Main Treasure Adventures. We are back out here at Lake St. George State Park for Day 12. I'll be using my Garrett AT Gold Metal Detector, along with my floating dive system called the Nemo by Blue 3, to detect and pull out anything that shouldn't be here, to help clean the water and make the swimming area a little bit safer. First things first, let's say hi to some of our fish friends. We're starting today off with a bang. We found ourselves a diamond earring stamp 925 silver. Next up, I eyeballed some trash. Here's some tinfoil. Our next good target was a penny. Another coin, this time it's a quarter. Some more foil. Most of this day, I was in the deep end, which most targets are in about a foot or more of mud. It will clear up as I get closer to the shoreline. Here's a hair tie. This might be one of the weirdest things I've found here. It's a sole to a boot. Not gonna lie, I feel a little bit like Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi right now. I'm a soul man. Ba -da 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 -da. You're so man. Here's the biggest piece of iron that we found here today. I don't know what this is. Do you? Here's some more trash. While detecting out in the deeper end, I noticed thousands of these Chinese mystery snails. These snails are an invasive species. They can bring harmful diseases via parasites that can actually be passed on to humans. They can also cause harm by clogging up water intake pipes. The Chinese mystery snails have made their way into lakes, ponds, and streams all over the United States. They have been upsetting food chains by competing and stealing food and space from the native population. This problem isn't just in Maine, it's in a number of states. I don't know what this went to. If you do, leave a comment. If you don't know either, make something up. I just want to see funny wrong answers. Mm. 
Here's a huge washer stuck to a rock because it was encrusted in iron oxide bacteria. We got another nasty band-aid. A little bit more tinfoil. Here's another quarter, we're 25 cents richer. Here's another coin, it's a penny. Buddy the fish is hanging out with us. He brought a friend with him this time. However, Buddy ended up chasing him off. His buddy wants all the food. <laughs> Here's what's left of a bobby pen. This is a really cool find. We found a cut wedding ring. Some people will cut the ring in order to remove it from their finger. Definitely somebody wanted this ring in here. I had to get out again and change my battery in the Nemo and my GoPro. It lasts me about two to two and a half hours. <laughs> Another bobby pin. There's a lead fishing weight. This was a pin right on the surface of the swimming area. Here's a staple, the second one that I found today. We got a nail. And another nail. This is the back to an earring. It's 925 silver. This would probably be the last coin of the day. It's a nickel. This is one of the smallest finds of the day. It's a shotgun pellet. Here's a key ring.
our last find of the day, we got a second ring. Hello everyone, this is Adam. We just got done over at Lake St. George State Park. And we pulled some more things out of the swimming area. Aluminum foil, band-aids, hair ties, all kinds of random stuff. I even found some soul while I was there. Some nails, tons of bobby pins, even a push pin or a pen, a couple of staples. Three keys, a washer, this random strip of iron, coins, again, not too many, three pennies, two quarters, one dime, one nickel, and then my favorite finds. We have this ring, kind of cool, haven't cleaned it. We got another earring back, and I'm pretty sure this one is silver. And it's pretty ornate. Alright, and then this is pretty cool. I have not tested this yet. On the back, it is silver. Stamped 925. Right there somewhere. So that's not too, too bad. And a bunch of cool stuff out of there. And not so cool stuff. I would always recommend, take out your bobby pins. You're going to lose them anyway. And then what happens is, like these have been in there for probably one year, maybe two years. Not dangerous. If I stepped on that, I wouldn't hurt myself. And then what happens is after a couple of years, they start deteriorating. This is a bobby pin, but it's super sharp. And these are all on the surface. So it's pretty easy to get your foot caught on one of these. And that's going in your foot. <laughs> W O.